And welcome back guys to the LP of Close Combat Cross of Iron. So now we are very close to the end of the game. Just kidding. Finally we have a new operation called Second Fight of Kharkov. Something like that. Second Kharkov, whatever. Let's see the briefing. So the operational briefing is the Second Battle of Kharkov, May 10, 1942. The camp group you now command is part of the 6th army. Your mission is to spearhead the advance through the Caucasian mountains. An operation called named Fredericus. Fredericus, whatever. Reconnaissance reports indicate a heavy concentration of Soviet forces directly in front of you. It's believed these forces will make a spoiling attack to stop you stop your push to the Bolsheviks oil fields. When the attack comes, it must be countered vigorously and immediately. Expect the enemy to use the rough terrain to seek infiltration routes and then attack at several points along your front. The weather should remain fair. Reinforcements and replacements will be made available to you if you need them. So this is a battle briefing. We start from this map again. Again, we are on the uh, defensive, it would seem. So. If we fail this one, we go in this one, and again, this is the last one where we have to hold one victory location. Intelligent reports that the Bolsheviks are massing for an attack. Your objective is to prevent the enemy from rolling over your forces. If you are forced to withdraw, do so before your, forcer, before your force is decimated. Your command is attached to the 6th Army. You'll be able to assemble a force with some AT firepower. A deep ravine running north and south splits the sector. It will slow. It will slow, but probably not stop enemy tanks from advancing. Expect the enemy to use the gullies leading to the ravine as the avenues of attack. You possess several excellent positions for sitting your AT weapons west of the ravine. The terrain yields many good spots to ambush tanks or vehicles with AT infantry. The steep slopes and tracts of forest limit fields of fire across the ravine. Draw, draw the enemy's tanks and vehicle across the ravine, then destroy them. If you can't stop the enemy, make them pay dearly for their advance. <laughs> Again, my reading skills at the moment are very low. I'm actually sleepy this time around. Oh man, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm drinking tea again, per usual, the good evil tea of evilness. So I was thinking like, you know what? Let's do this. Let's be awesome. Let's be grognard and be awesome. So again, I have to refit everyone. So I have to refit the heavy machine gun Viper squad. Lost one, and that of course the one that we lost is the heavy machine gun. It would seem. Strange enough. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna we, now we have two options here. I do not understand these two options, except that this is 1942 heavy machine gun team, the same MG34, and this is 1941. The difference is non-existent as far as I can see. As you can see, absolutely nothing is different. But if we do actually take the 1942 team, uh, we will totally replace the Viper, and I think they will lose the entire experience and all the things they gain, the medals and all the crap. So I'm not never gonna actually do that. I'm just gonna refit them with a the lost team member, and that's it. Viper there, okay? So the SS heavy machine gun will be called Sen, actually, Sen from the game called Sen. If you ever play that first-person shooter, excellent first-person shooter of the old days, Sen. We're gonna put those guys there. Now, Wolf Squad, of course, need another one. Now, we have 36 points. I am thinking of not buying anything this time around. Because uh, the... I'm, I want one uh, more tank, to be honest. I want to concentrate because I have one static heavy A gun 88. I have one tank that is me. The Panzer 3J... Uh, Panzer 3J H version. <laughs> Panzer 3J with 50mm. And reality-wise, let's see. The tanks are, we are limited amount of tanks we can have, I mean limited, limited amount of, cho of our choosing, that is, what can we choose, and that is the only T7, uh, T, geez, T34 76mm, okay, that's the only good tank we have, and it's 118 points, we don't have those points, but I'm gonna keep these 36 points, because I think at the moment we don't need that many soldiers, but the map alone is quite uh, vast, as you can see, the ravines are open areas, cut into two here, points, the enemy will spawn on any of these areas here. Uh, all in all, 
as you can see we have two points uh, three points actually that we can actually defend the ravines uh, from the enemy attacks because they oh this is a sloped area of course so they have to get inside and outside that means that what if they they're like trenches the big freaking trenches if the enemy is able to go through the ravines they will probably won't be able to notice the bastards okay so we have a hills here all in all it's gonna be quite an interesting battle but i'm not sure if i want to uh, waste uh, my Thing, maybe on another command squad but I wanted to do you know what the SS command squad you have to go on elite and get the command squad of the SS group and Fiora so, but as you can see here these guys have something very awesome they have a K98 sniper rifle MG 34 and I mean compared to the uh, regular command squad that we have for instance Chubbs he only has MP40 and one K98 uh, <coughs> but they have 42 points and we don't have those 42 points all in all, I'm gonna uh, keep it as is. I think I have enough units that will hold the entire area. I'm just worried about the BFG. And of course, the Wolf Squad will immediately refit the Wolf Squad. And now, of course, we have the Assault. I was thinking about Sturm Grenadiers, the Heavy Infantry. But reality-wise, they are not that good. The Wolf Squad, for instance, the Rifle Squad here, has five rifles. One MP40, one MG, uh, one AT gun, and of course, all bunch of stuff. Uh, but we at least need one of these kind of guys because they have the range and some evil uh, mistake just popped up in the beyond the void oh man let me just see what the hell is that them <coughs> okay welcome back uh so yeah that was absolutely nothing someone just died and it's probably my graphic card so anyway uh <laughs> So the wall squad refitting. So what I was talking about the assault squad. I'm thinking assault squad has only two and four and has the MG34. Uh, but I don't. I'm not so sure. Again, if we get these guys, the wolf squad dies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep these guys as long as possible, and that's about it. You know, reality wise, you know, nobody cares. Okay, that's it. Next. Everybody's ready, right? The end game is here. So the BFG, uh, let's first score zoom out, not like that, zoom out, <laughs> okay, thank you. The BFG, the BFG, the big motherfucking gun, the big gun, the mother humper, like, range is ginormous, right? He has a ginormous range, but sadly because of the evil trees, we can't really notice most of the stuff. But if we put it here, maybe around this positions here, maybe, maybe, maybe around this S. Maybe here we can actually do something. No, we can't. We can't still do shit, and that's kind of bad. I was hoping that those uh, freaking uh, the the hills alone are so big. How could the hell are the freaking trees bigger than those damnable hills of evil? Hmm. You see, this this changes my tactic, cause I'm thinking of doing this. Uh, maybe like this. You know, ooh, this is not a bad situation for us actually. Yes, it is. Uh, I mean, I, we don't reality have a good positioning for the BFG. Unless we get overly too close to the enemy positions here, maybe. And just, like, own anything that comes close to us. But remember that the enemy probably has points that will come from this point here with tanks and here. So, if we are able to do some damage, we will. But reality-wise, I'm, I'm a little bit skeptical about the entire situation here. So, we'll able to cut that. Uh, not really able to help this part here at all actually with the BFG that is a problem because I want to use the BFG uh, you know like a mother of all guns that it is okay the mother of all guns okay this is perfect position for the BFG but he's overly too close to the enemy and of course if the enemy actually has stuff here they will definitely own the BFG but that's a perfect positioning for the BFG. Uh, so the mortars will stay behind, actually around these trees here. Uh, immediate on defend. Let's uh, learn the uh, the shortcut keys. That's the end button for the defend bullcrap. Now my tank here, the Panzer 3J, will probably stay around these positions here because the thing is, I have no idea where to position my Panzer 3J. Reality-wise, I have no idea. Maybe, yes, maybe here, because I need to support whatever I can, and especially the BFG, if the BFG gets a little bit round up by the enemy force. But again, we need uh, the, 
yes, we needed that uh, beautiful, beautiful thing called uh, morale boost. Chubs far away. Not where I want you. Okay. So all in all, as you can see, it's dark area. It's actually this quite is an empty area. There are two nice corners actually where the enemy can't deploy, but they can deploy immediately in front of us here and here. So the BFG hopefully does this this stuff right and doesn't die immediately because if we actually lose the BFG at this point, we're screwed. Remember, the BFG is the only weapon that can actually penetrate any armor the enemy has and ever will have, okay? Any armor. Any freaking armor. Okay, so yeah, Panzer 3J. Probably gonna stand here. I'm gonna uh, just check something out. If I put my guys here, uh, yes, yes. As you can see here, they can't shoot because they're in the ravine. There's definitely something blocking the crap, maybe a little bit. You know, like, maybe not actually. Maybe, maybe some of them, yeah, sure, but on defend, no. Anyway. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Actually, who knows? I, I don't know. Maybe they can't if they're inside these trenches and all that crap. Uh, red. Oh, man, there's so many teams. I don't know what the hell am I going to do or where I'm going to put everyone. The Sniper D definitely needs to stay in this position here. Maybe I actually put my Panzer in this position. Just shoot the enemy that I can actually locate from this position. Yeah, but still we have no morale boost. So that's bad. I'm gonna leave Panzer 3J here just to support if need be. You know, like, you know, he's gonna get a nice shot if need be. You know, he's gonna get a nice shot here and there. Yeah, I'm just worried about the BFG. The BFG, that's a problem. Okay, we definitely need uh, not the Berserk. We need the heavy machine gun here, team. One of the heavy machine guns. I'm gonna use Sin for this, actually. Sin will hold uh, this part here. ambush actually defend immediately uh, why because the I'm expecting the enemy anyway here but I'm gonna definitely put the berserk here just to support uh, the uh, now Chops is here also yeah I'm gonna leave the berserker here just to support uh, my awesome BFG of choice Oh man, all in all, a little bit, I'm a little bit scared, to be honest, if the enemy actually spawns stuff here, we are kind of dead, they will one-shot the BFG that close. I'm gonna still think about the BFG positioning though, I'm gonna first set up the rest of the squads here, so we have Ripley, we have Wolf, now Ripley, of course, my Ripley and someone else, the Firebats, are actually great up close and like this, so they're gonna be in an ambush. They're gonna be on ambush here. Mm, where can I set up more that I can actually do some kind of damage? Not everybody in the trenches though, that would be kind of bad. The wolf will also go on ambush. Here. Uh, fire bats. Now we have Ripley and fire bats around this position. Red is over here. Yeah, I'm gonna put the fire bats in this position. Yeah, why in the hell not? Yeah, it's this position. You know, all in all, we have enough things to cover most of these points. So we have the burst circle. Okay, the sin is actually, I have three heavy machine gunners, so kind of forget about that. I always forget that I have even more stuff now. Uh, let's see. Uh, ambush maybe yeah why not no actually defend for them immediately yes defend actually ambush and I'm gonna actually pull a little bit because I have a big big thing here I mean I have a huge radius for the Panzer 3 and I'll able to support them anyway so Ambush also actually defend. Uh, red will actually go here. Defend there. Uh, fire bats over here at the strong point Helga. So we have a strong point Helga, strong point Marta, 
we have a strong point Inga, I think. So all in all, <laughs> I'm again worried about the BFG, but again, that's the only way we can actually cover the old two crossings with the BFG. Okay, that's the only way to cover the both crossings, and that's that that even that that's gonna be a little bit hard. Okay, with just one missed shot here, we have a small area of actually, you know, being able to succeed at actually shooting with the BFG where he is now. So again, I'm gonna re well, recheck some positions for the BFG. You know, the thing is, I'm looking for the greatest spot, you know, like the greatest freaking spot that can actually cover most of the areas. I still can't believe that these hills alone are, alone are not enough to actually cover the entire area. Uh, you know over the trees that is you know freaking trees always about these stupid trees it was always the freaking trees that made problem for me you know always the trees no defend you fool uh, over here okay let's see maybe you see this excellent this excellent this is excellent almost almost actually but not good enough anyway I'm gonna definitely maybe put around this position no again overly too close to the enemy you know that is the problem for me I'm too close to the enemy you know I want the perfect positioning for my uh, BFG you know so that I can I can immediately kill anything that comes comes close to me so I'm again gonna put probably uh, maybe around this position again and I mean trees people of course if I actually force the enemy to come even closer towards us we might actually do something if we if we actually cover only these positions here that could actually benefit me of using the BFG at its maximum p potential actually yeah I'm thinking of that uh, to be honest now you know forcing the enemy uh, to come close towards our positions here so hmm, what do you think I mean I will definitely able to do some damage without risking the BFG because again BFG is the most important thing I have you know and I can actually put him around this position just cover the entire freaking area just one shot anything <coughs> But again, god damn it, I don't know, I do not know. You know, I want immediately to fight against the enemy, but uh, I do not know what uh, kind of firepower they'll have. You know, I don't know if they're gonna have again the KV-2s, a dozen or not. I don't know where their positioning will might be in the possible position, because they can position it anywhere they want. You know, like anywhere they want and they will easily kill anything I have. I mean, the problem is they will easily kill the BFG, okay? And if I can hold this part uh, long enough, this little part here, a BFG, you know, until BFG actually can locate the target and destroy it, all you know, it's gonna be quite difficult. It's gonna be quite freaking difficult. But I'm gonna start and let's see how this actually goes. Actually, let's see, did I set up everyone correctly? Let's first check that. So Chubbs and all these guys are immediately going to open fire on anyone they see. This part I'm waiting to get a little bit close. Except the Viper is going to defend. You know, we're going to kind of force the enemy to shoot specific points. Let's begin. Again, BFG the most important one. We at the moment not seeing yet anything. Don't mind you, this could be the most dangerous mission I ever experienced. There goes one little theme of crappiness. There moves, oh, security infantry. Excellent. Viper opening fire. Viper opening fire nicely, actually. Towards the security infantry. Well, I'm just still hoping that they have a limited amount of tanks and limited amount of mortars also. Oh my god, that, that thing is like, uh, we're killing them. Viper is just uh, killing them like nothing. We're actually covering most of the areas, if I'm not mistaken, also. Red is there. They should open the fire, I think. Maybe. Oh no, they're opening fire towards Viper, actually. That's totally okay. 
<laughs> That's totally okay. We have to concentrate on these red dots. Cossack heavy machine gun. They're moving towards the wolf, I think. I think Viper may be suppressed. Cowering, actually. One of them cowering. You know what? Let's open fire and have fun. You know what? Screw that hiding bullshit. Let's just have fun. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. You definitely die by a thousand. Though that heavy machine gun team is still moving. Okay, now they're dying like a little bit. She's excellent. Heavy machine gun down. Those Cossack infantry also. The entire squad is down. One is retreating towards the gully entrance. A BFG still secured. Not being fired upon yet. That's okay. Fire bats are still on the ambush because for in case, who knows what's gonna happen. Remember, the enemy actually drops everything they have at us. That's gonna be kind of a problematic. Bad shot uh, with the uh, AT rifle. That's okay at the moment. As you can see, seen here, quite, quite diff Oh, there it is, the KV-1. KV-1. Oh, now they're opening on a wolf. Oh, there they are. Can BFG do something? No, they can't. Oh, man, that's kind of bad. This is going to be bad. I have a bad feeling it's going to be really, really bad. You know, oh, man. There goes the KV-1. I can't even do anything against him. And I, I mean, he's going exactly in a position I don't want him to go. But there is actually far bats, so they might actually do something. I may have to risk the far bats with this KV-1 people. Oh, what the hell? T-26, really? That's cool. I mean, the thing is, they have these big guns, I can't even do anything. Churchill, whoa, that's a Churchill, actually. We're gonna get a little bit close. Please don't get owned by an enemy. God damn it! That's not what I want. Oh man, we're dead. We're screwed here. We don't have anything against this thing. At least I don't think we have. There goes the Churchill. We can't do anything against the Churchill, can we? Exactly. Okay, I don't know what the hell that one was doing. Excellent. We're all dead. My fire bats are all dead. Well, that was bad. Can't do again anything against that Churchill now. Fire bats are dead. Deserting. Excellent. The leader is scared that he has the that flamethrower. He might actually do something with that flamethrower though. We should be able to open that bastard with the... Oh man, prisoner. God damn it, we lost the fire bats.
Flower bats are dead. Actually, I'm going to try and save that fire bat because he's moving towards that position. I may actually save him from, the, from being the prisoner's bitch. And also, I think I can actually side shot the damnable bastard called the damnable bastard. Oh, there is another KV2. Really? One actually, KV1. Okay, so all in all, we lost the fire bats, are dead. Here. I lost that KV1 side towards him at least. And there it is. Maybe a good side shot. A good, good side shot. Maybe towards him in the ass at least, if nothing else. Nope, definitely not. I guess that was a waste of a good team. Oh man, oh well, what can I do? I tried my best. No, we, can, we can't do anything against that KV-1. I'll have to at least try, if nothing else. I don't know what else to do anyway. Crap. He is turning his gun. Get faster. Get the hell out of there. Oh, KV-1, exactly a nice range for my AT-8. Ah, man, I shouldn't have wasted that beautiful team of evil, but oh well, oh well. Can't always do the right thing, I guess, sometimes. I tried, but the KV-1 was faster and much more maneuverable than us. Ambush. Get down. Come on, baby, open your asses just for me. Excellent, one shot, come on, second shot, open him. He will, oh, come on again, <laughs> that's okay. He's dead, definitely, as you can see, KV-1 immobilized. That's excellent. But wow, even side shots like this from so close for the AT-8 did nothing. Oh man. Now that other KV-1, that would be awesome. Come on. Come on, come to daddy. Come to daddy. Come to daddy, you little bitch. Oh yes. Oh yes, perfect shot. See, I should have just waited with the 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 fire bats, and I've just I have just wasted a good team of evil. Are they still running away? I may actually reach them before they run away. No, they're dead. I can't even see them, of course, on the map, but still, that was bad for us. I mean, losing the entire team. Well, they fled actually. Some of them fled, at one unconscious or whatever. Uh, I don't know what the hell. Okay, like, oh man, I was stupid. I was definitely stupid there, and I wasted a good team for this suicide run. Was hoping the flamethrower to do something, but all in all, god damn it, just bad, 
but definitely without the KV. Without the uh, that we, I mean, without the 88, the BFG, this would have been even worse, reality wise. I mean, wouldn't be able to do anything as these KV ones, and you know, all in all, uh, this was very bad. I mean, they only have that one KV one here, and I can't do shit against him. That's 41 version. This is like 39. Uh, so, all in all, bad stuff for us. I'm gonna move in with Panzer 3J because we're kind of screwed. Panzer 3J is the only one that can actually kill this bastard. Whoever he is, wherever he is. I now can't even see the T20. Okay, these bastards are shooting at my man. And they're dying because they we can't even see the T20. And he's right there. Mind you. He is right there. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's not the T20 actually, who knows what that actually is. Maybe a man of some evilness. I definitely can't see him yet though. Oh, that's a heavy machine gun, really? Really? Come on. He surrendered. That one at least, but I know who else. Okay, that's it. That that team is down. The Cossack heavy machine gun team. There is another team actually moving towards our position. And immediately open, of course, <laughs> all fire upon them. We, I mean, we get a win because of this, but still, man, I can't believe I was so stupid. I didn't, I mean, I, I was expecting, like, that's the last thing probably they have, and I was, like, moving, and I just lost the fire bats. God motherfucking damn it, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll take another engineering squad again, but that was bad. That was very stupid decision, and I honestly don't like losing men like that. I mean, that's just stupid. That that decision was just so bad. I I, I have no words. I have no words for this. But mind you, we still did not win. Uh, the enemy is still there. That KV-1, I can't do shit against that at all. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> like, I can just suck myself a dick because he's right there and I can't even side shot him with anything I have. I mean, wow, like, we're that bad. I mean, you know, we're that freaking bad. So the Berserk team, Viper Ripley, Ripley is there. I might actually try this again with Ripley and go around, around, and around and maybe attack him. But remember, the KV-2 actually has the machine gun also on the back, but I know how he can actually see stuff also. So, yeah. there's some men still alive but I can't really see them through oh, there they are I see them moving through the trees now they're pinned from all the sides I guess yes yeah, you see there's like a side shot I can actually try and do you know like could could do but that's about it I'm gonna see and maybe I can do a good side shot I think maybe from this position here actually you know from this trees here line here maybe my guys are still holding right yeah the thing is I mean I, we have so many little points now that I lost one squad that means I have two squad that I can buy more that is 
you know, and uh, all in all, disappointed with my choices. Uh, I mean, uh -huh, I'm sleepy, so I'm gonna just say because I was sleepy, I just lost a good amount of men. Uh, but you know, they were newbies also, but still, they shouldn't have died. Remember that he probably can't even, uh, maybe return fire, maybe, because I really want him dead. If I can just side shot him once, that would be awesome. No. Can't saw I don't know how he can actually see us, though. It, you know, in tanks you can't really see from this back side unless you have a commander looking at If we could actually destroy that tree in front of me, that would be perfect. Uh, oh man, I don't know from where can I give a, have a good shot. I mean, I can get a little bit closer, but I'm afraid he's gonna start noticing and he's gonna be like, uh oh. And honestly, that's just one shotting my entire thing. It would be that bad. I'm gonna try and go around it. I can still hear shooting, I don't know from where and who. But they're still holding with something. I mean, they should give up usually, even if the KV-1 is still there. But again, KV-1 alone can de destroy us all if they want it. You know, I mean, some good side shot, back shot, maybe. And now I tried on KV-2 with 50mm. It didn't work even up close. But again, we could try at least something, I guess. You know, better try... See, as soon as I get to the side here, I can't do shit. Even that's a back side. It would seem that the sides are definitely the thing, but the back and the front is too strong. So we can't do shit against the back. I'm gonna try again. Let's see what we can do. Maybe get a little bit closer then. Nothing else. There is nothing else I can actually do without overly risking. There, there. Did you see they have a perfect shot towards him? on the green god damn it and we can't get that shot because it's black <laughs> it's black for us yeah. cannot penetrate that damnable armor it can't be they only have kv1 though it can't be they still only have one kv1 and that's it you know there has to be a few more soldiers around Excellent shot. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. Okay. Fall back. Fall back. Oh, that was a close one. That was a fucking close one. That was a fucking close one. Fall back. We're gonna play this game until I can actually do something against that armor. There has to be a way for me to fuck him up. I mean, it's a yellow shirt, but so it's some kind of penetration, I guess. Oh well, you know what? I'm just gonna win by taking all the flags. You know, I'm gonna just take all their flags and say, Fuck you, you bastards. I'm gonna take your flags. Be like, who's your daddy and what does he do? And, you know, not give a crap anymore. Just gonna do it like that. Just gonna do it like that. Like a boss. Actually, first I'm gonna sneak towards this position here, and then here, and then we move here, actually. Because the enemy, the, that freaking thing can actually kill my Ripley, and I'm not gonna risk the damnable thing happening. So, yeah, not gonna risk it. But I'm gonna take my points and, like, give him, like, two-minute warning, and if he can actually do something great, if not, screw you, 
you know, I'm overly, like, I always forget that you can just take the points and just win like that. I always forget that. But again, losing fire bats kills me. I mean, they cost a lot. They're engineering squads. They lost a lot. I mean, cost a lot. Lost a lot. Yeah, less, I lost a lot, but they're costing a lot. Also. I'm gonna, of course, sneak, because you don't know where the enemy might be still. They might still have many and uh, any, many soldiers. Remember, they have mortars. Uh, we have not yet seen the mortars, bastard. So they're still out there somewhere. And they want the truce. No, we'll not allow the truce for this kind of stuff. We lost one entire squad on my own stupidity, and you know, ah oh, man, I should have just ran away from that position. But of course, my ego went and said, you know what? Fuck you. We're going for it. Maximum speed. I'm thankful that the KV-2 is KV-1 that is, is pretty stupid leaving like that. They have a high morale and low experience though. Good vodka, I guess. Oh my god, this game is killing me. Every time I want to try to play it, well, when I want to play it, it's like a chess. I just said, I said, oh, it's always like a chess. It's like that one move you fuck up, you're dead. You know? It's just ridiculous. It's scary. Honestly, this game is so scary, you know, you, you, because you don't want to lose people like that. Now, mind you, in the later parts, like Invasion Normandy and Panthers of Folk, you don't care much for the people, to be honest. In this game, it's definitely much more people-based, uh, squad-based game, because you care about the squads you actually have. Can we actually get that golly entrance? Because I'm not getting it. Yes, thank you. Get to hill 178. Prepare to fire upon the enemy. If possible. I'm gonna tell blue to actually start shooting in this position. And red also. Before my teams actually get any closer because we have not yet seen the mortar team at least not that I've noticed and I want to be sure that my guys have a free reign uh, Kozak medium mortar okay we did kill actually uh, the mortars that is where the hell are you moving my SS troops my same squad is moving and you know these guys can I actually bomb the crap out? Of course, they can't do anything with the 81 millimeter mortars on the KV-1, but that's okay. That's totally okay. I'm gonna actually start moving a little bit. I'm not worried about the Bull Squad anymore. And there, of course, someone is shooting. Someone is shooting. Uh, we surrender. Security infantry. I have no idea where the hell they were. Uh, oh, in front of us. Okay, okay. Good for them. Get to hill 178. Get the gully entrance. And let's move in. Come on, move fast, actually. We are overly on open terrain and we don't want to risk it. If the KV-1 can take anything, that's good for him, I guess. But I'm not gonna give a crap anymore. We're gonna take this, win this map, get new squads. Return. This operation will be, like, awesome. We're gonna be awesome. Did I lose someone? Someone died. I have no idea who. Dead. Ripley. Ripley, man, my engineering squads are dying by a dozen. And they did definitely have that one squad over there. KV-1 moving, finally. KV-1 is actually moving. 
A little bit. He's trying to move at least. He sucks at it. Okay, 1 minute and 20 seconds. Hopefully we can do this for 1 minute and 20 seconds. He's gonna go all around stuck like that. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we can detract him with the uh, red and blue. Maybe. Maybe detract him. I mean, come on, Mortar should be able to do some kind of damage in that kind of way. Fifty-three seconds and win is there. But again, such losses, such sad, sad losses. Uh, I, I am, I am sad, sad about this. I mean, how, what a stupid decision by me. I can't believe I was so stupid to just allow uh, that kind of stuff to happen. You know, just allow for my entire squad to die. Twenty-eight seconds. He's moving. He's trying to move. He's stuck on every single thing. Quite understandable. He's in the middle of the forest, and Ripley done successfully redeploying himself themselves. At a, that's okay. Uh, two dead. Oh man, there there's still many many a lot. I mean, it's a big loss. It's a big loss. Though this says it, they fled, so maybe someone actually survived, and maybe we get them back. I don't know. Hoping. Operation was complete, and I of course uh, suck ass. <laughs> oh man! Like, look at this: seven killed, wounded two, one prisoner. Uh, prisoner. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because, because again, we lost too much for what I gained. Uh, I'm moving through these operations too fast, reality-wise. My soldiers are not getting any experience, reality-wise, also. So, <laughs> all in all, a little bit disappointed, but nonetheless. Uh, we're moving in. The operation is called Counter Stroke, lol, at Kharkov. So the year is spring 1942. Fire bats actually did survive. Oh my god, they survived. They survived, and of course, I have to uh, get them <laughs> the entire squad. But that's okay, they survived. That is the important thing. They survived. As you can see, we also got the MG 216, the Maxim, that is. We got the Maxim heavy machine gun, that's okay, not really something I'm interested in. We have the engineer, SS engineers actually, this time around. Excellent, the, what, the SS of course, they have the same thing, but of course they have a little bit, a uh, bit better, well I have one more bundle grenade I guess, but have a better uh, morale. All in all, we have rifle SS now, uh, maybe I can now finally uh, move my, uh, <laughs> my wolf. Uh, where is my wolf? Mo wolf spot refit them to the SS. Maybe, huh? Can I? Can I? No, you can't actually. Kinda bad about it. Yeah, I'm uh, bad. Well sad about well bad, my ma. Uh, sad about that. Sad, very sad. Nonetheless, the BFG did have excellent uh, per usual. These guys are awesome if positioned correctly. Uh would not get promotion, quite understandable. Uh, but still, I'm thankful that my engineering squad actually survived. One dude survived. One motherfucking dude survived. One fucker survived all that. One. I'm thankful. I am freaking thankful about it because that that uh, that's like oh man, that's like finally awesome. So this is the counter stroke at Kharkov, and there is it would seem definitely alien signs already showing up. So I'm. Presuming at some point we're fighting aliens, but all in all, <laughs> I'm I'm happy I guess, but also a little bit sad because of my own stupid decisions. But nonetheless, Farbats did survive. That is the important thing. And but again, so little points, you know. Like, oh man, give me more points. Like, really, what am I gonna do with what they give me here? Nothing. Okay, nothing. Uh, so we have the assault teams, the assault squad. So we have some grenadiers and S system grenadiers. Uh, I mean, when we're getting these squads, I can't really do anything with them, to be honest. Fancy for D version and uh, light here, regular. Yeah, again, now we can't even get uh, the T20, uh, the, the T26, T34, uh, 76 armor. Why not? I do not know. Uh, see. If I actually lost, I probably would be able to actually buy the fucking thing. Kind of unbelievable. Still, we have only bad armor. Panzer 3s. 
all in all nothing really substantial something strong pencil for this also pathetic freaking pathetic but I'll have to I mean uh, no way I can actually buy it now because I'm gonna waste most of my points on actually uh, refitting the entire teams but all in all we'll think about it next time I wish you